Celestials, a card game created by A-Drive raising over $1.4 million through its historic Kickstarter campaign. Sounds impressive, but is it actually a good game? So I grabbed Sam to come play with me right away. <gasps> Wait, like, I don't even, I don't even know how to play. Me neither. There's only one thing we could do. Download the app and play the tutorial. Perfect, now that we know how to play, it was time to pick our decks. Uh, so I chose a Pentera starter deck, really cool dragon design that caught my eye right off the bat, and this is mainly a Windspur deck. I chose the Imperial starter deck because, hey, it harnesses the power of thunder, and I play yellow and Digimon, so that's gotta mean something, right? What's that? That's just a booster box, which has a bunch of cards that we can upgrade our decks with. Oh. oh no, you don't. Winner gets box. Sure. Oh. It's time. It's time. <laughs> it's time. First game of Elestros. This is exciting. It's very exciting. Uh, yeah, very exciting. I love the card back design too, though. You don't get a mat. <laughs> um, so to determine who goes first, you roll a die, uh, mm -hmm. a d20, and the winner of the die roll gets to choose to go first or second. Yes. All right. Ooh, oh, you get to choose. I guess I'll go second. That's so cool. Because yeah. just gen genuinely going second seems better because you can attack you and you get, draw, to, you get to draw yeah. as well. And yeah, so at the start of the game, you just put your... Um, a 20, a 20 to determine how much like spirits you have because yeah, yeah that's how much life or whatever it is you call and five yeah you draw five cards and we can pay two spirits to mulligan if we don't like our hand yes i'm gonna hold on to this <laughs> so i'm gonna hold on to it as well but you can actually mulligan as much as you want uh, yeah generally um, um so you're going second yeah so, so you i'll go, go first uh so i am going to a one Zapdor to enchant my Astro Rabbit. You need to match the zone. Which zone are you putting in? Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay, that one. Okay. Uh, and then when this Astro Rabbit receives more than one Thunder mm -hmm. uh, Spirit, I can look at the top three cards in my deck and then add one of them to my hand and then shuffle the rest into my deck. Okay. And you don't get to see them. Uh, okay. I mean, it's good that you get to conceal your information, which I think it's not bad at all. So you added one then, card. Then I shuffle. You shuffle? Okay. And then... Put that back here. This goes to my hand, and I am going to set two cards. I'm trying my best, man. I'm trying my best. <laughs> uh, and then, oh, I have 19 spirits because I played one. Mm -hmm. uh, Why are you moving it? Oh, because I'm I'm mad. <laughs> Go ahead. I'm done my turn. I'm done my turn. So just so you guys know, basically the first person to have zero spirits left in their deck and they're forced to like use a spirit, like spend or whatever, uh, they basically lose from mm -hmm. there. So, okay, I'll draw for turn. So you have two tra trap cards. <laughs> That's what they call, right? Um, this is pretty- Oh, I should have played that in defense mode. You're good, you're fine. I'm <laughs> <laughs> just already bad at this game. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pay one spirit as well, uh, one wind spirit. I'm actually gonna play my. Uh, you have to put it like this. Or... No, I think that's for if you're in defense. Right. So, so I put it like this. Right? Well, you're playing it in defense. Yeah, okay. I'm playing in defense. Okay. Okay. So when this uh, P gust is uh, receives one or more. Yes. Uh, wind spirit. I get yep. to target and destroy a room. So I'm gonna destroy this one. Ah. Field of Achilles. Very good. I guess with that, I'll just pass my turn. Sounds good. I will draw for turn. You have used one spirit, sir. Yes. So I'm down to 19. Uh, I will 
play <clears throat> Nectar of the Gods because it is an instant. So I have to use two spirits. One, <clears throat> two. And then I get to draw two cards. So Drink one, up, my friend. Two. Drink up. <laughs> Don't you worry. Oh, I spilled. <laughs> I will use one more spirit to play this in defense. Okay. So, this ability says when... I don't know how to say this guy's name. But when he's enchanted, um, Elestrals cannot attack the turn they are cast unless they are enchanted with a thunder. Okay, that's pretty good. Yeah. Um, you have three, I have two. Uh, Why are you moving that again? Because I panic, man. I panic. Uh, I'll also use one of my things. <laughs> oh, that's your divine rune, right? Yeah, my <laughs> divine to place a uh, spirit underneath. Yep. And then when I cast this um, Zeus, I can enchant up to three spirits. And mm -hmm. then for each spirit I remove, uh, I give one of your guys minus three, minus three. That's only when you choose to remove When I spirit. choose to disenchant, enchant. yes. So I will place three underneath. And it has to be thunder specifically. It has to be thunder specifically. I guess at this point you can choose to change it to change this guy to defense, right? I can, yes. Uh, it's a pretty strong defense. But I feel like I need to take out your P Gust because Yeah. So I'm gonna pay or disenchant yep. one to give this minus, uh, minus three minus three, three to attack and the defense. And then I'll move to the attack. <clears throat> And I will attack into P Gust. So because I have zero, um, so I'm gone. But because I'm in defense, no damage is taken, right? Yes. Okay. And you go. Just... Okay, so Zeus is pretty problematic, I can see. I'm going to draw for here first. I'm actually going to pay another Wind Spirit mm -hmm. to play another P Gust. Yes. Same thing, I can destroy a rune. So I'm just going to destroy your Zeus. Is he a rune? I, I believe so, right? Because he's, he's a divine rune, right? No! Okay. <laughs> the sad days. <clears throat> I believe that's how it works. I'm just doing what the card tells me to. <laughs> I'll pass to you. Oh, interesting. All right. I will draw for turn. All right. I will use one spirit to play... Toxion. Uh, when it receives one or more spirit, my opponent must expend one. When you definitely do not have 18. Expend one. Oh, you do. Have... So I go to wow, 17. Were... So I expend one. Yeah. Uh, I'll just take out one spirit. I will just move into uh, battle phase. Mm -hmm. And I will use... Toxion to attack your Pegust. Pegust is gone. No damage taken. And then I'll use Astro Rabbit to attack your spirits directly. Okay. So I'll expend one spirit here. Yep, because I have one enchanted. So now I'm at 616. And uh, that is your go. All right. I'll draw. Ooh, okay, okay. So I'm going to first use uh, Resting on your laurels mm -hmm. um let's use this so what this card does is that uh it can only cast if your opponent has two or more enchanting spirits than i do uh you have three i have zero during that time uh target and destroy one of your lustrals with the least number of enchanting spirits since they all have the same i assume i can just pick any so i'm gonna pick the i guess the lightning rhino mm -hmm. <gasps> uh guess next I'm gonna normal cast out a uh, hydrate sounds good uh, I am a little bit worried about your back row card there so if I extend a little bit um, I gotta quickly count one two three four five six seven eight nine ten one two three four so I'm actually down to 14 at the moment that could be a really important card so I'm gonna play thunderstorm I have to expand two thunder runes uh, th uh, thunder spirits mm -hmm. uh, and I get you to destroy a rune which I'll destroy your back row rune oh my second shield of okay Hades. pretty good pretty good that's a really good card that I know um, okay so I'm gonna use hydrake mm -hmm. 
to go into battle phase, I'm, I'm going to attempt to attack into your uh, Toxion. Uh, yep. Uh, so we're both 4 and 4, so we basically crash against each other. We're 4 attack and 4 attack. Yep. Uh, so when Hydrake is destroyed by battle, I get to special summon a Twin Hydra from my hand with deck and attack position. Uh, basically, yeah, special cast. Special cast, that's what it's called. Yep. So, so that does not count as your normal cast. That does not count as my normal cast. Uh, I, I assume I have to shuffle my deck after like, bringing out the guy. Uh, but of course I do have to pay for the spirits too when I'm doing this. Um, so just give me a second. Yeah, bring yourself down to 10. Which is fine because this guy is pretty strong. Uh, because it's still in the battle phase, um, you know, nothing has something sickness, so I pretty much can attack. Mm -hmm. Uh, anyways, so, um, yeah, I'm just gonna go straight and attack into your two costs, uh, yep. Asher Rabbit. Uh, and then because I have one enchanted and you have two, I have two enchanted, you I take the damage to difference, expend yeah. Spend one, I spend another Zapdor. And then you can go ahead. Bring me down to 10. Oh no! Well, we're on equal ground now. We are indeed. Um, what can I do? And what is the effect on this? So it's exactly <laughs> just like Hydrake. When this Twindra is destroyed by battle, I can special cast a Pen Terror from my hand or deck. In oh no! Oh no! <laughs> what do I do? Uh, first I will play... Zeus Zeus. again. Yeah. For one. How, how many uh, spirits are you going to load him up uh, with? I think only one. This might not be good for me. But I don't know what else to do, so we're gonna do it this way. Uh, okay, actually, I'm gonna add a different different game plan. Okay. For one. Okay. I'm going to play Astro Rabbit, but in defense. Okay. Uh, and then when it receives one, I look at the top three cards in my deck, and I can add one. Oh man, this is such <clears> a tough <throat> choice. I'll grab this one, and then shuffle, and I will set this. Mm -hmm. Ooh. And I will set one more, and I'll pass it off. Are to those you. bait traps? <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> Who knows? Oh, yeah. Uh, okay. So I'm gonna use two wind spirits to activate bag of winds. Um, to this is an uh, uh, equip rune. Oh. Um, which empowers my illustrial by two defense. Oh gosh. Okay. Uh, it cannot be targeted by your opponent's runes. So I, I assume it can't be affected by those effects. Uh, the second effect is when Alios is enchanted and the empowered Illustrial destroys an Illustrial by battle, I can target a rune to destroy it. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have set things. Um, I'm gonna use one Wind Spirit to use my Divine Rune, uh, Alios here. I'm gonna put two enchantments. Mm -hmm. uh, do I wanna put two enchantments? Mm. Or one. Actually, I'm gonna put one enchantment only on it mm -hmm. for this period. Uh, I'm overextending really hard right now, <laughs> but that's fine um, because I'm gonna use this to play my Sorlet. Oh, okay. So let's what use Soilet's effect. I can expend a Wind Rune to change the battle position of a Elestral unless it's enchanted with Wind. Okay. Uh, so I am going to. Um, can you expend one of those? Is that? Or is expending? It expends a Wind. Oh, so that yeah, has to so be from my deck, or can it be? Has to be from your deck. It has to be from my deck. I believe so. Yeah. I guess I'm gonna have to pass to you then. Oh. Go ahead. I'll draw. I'm holding on. All right. Uh, first, I'm going to use Earthquake. Ooh. Yeah, but this might not be good for me. So two uh, of the Earth Spirits. Mm -hmm. Target and destroy an Elestral. I will target your twin. Uh, so because of Bag of Winds, the empowered Elestral gets two plus defense and cannot be targeted by your opponent's runes. Oh. So you can only target Sorlet. <laughs> Oh, I should have played that in a different order then. No! <laughs> so sort of nice? Yep, I guess so. <laughs> oh no! Um, <laughs> no! Uh, Excuse me, sir, you're below seven, I believe. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> oh, that was a misplay. 
Okay, I will play Thunderstorm though for two. I'm gonna pay two for my Zeus. Okay. Uh, to target and destroy a rune. So I will destroy the Bag of Wind. Yep. Um, Zeus is also gone. And I will pay one uh, for Boombat. Bring me to four. Mm -hmm. And uh, I can disenchant from this Boombat in order to target and destroy an opponent's Elestral. Uh, so I actually will. And mm -hmm. my Boombat will die as well, but so will your... Okay. Twin Drake is your gone. Your guy. I will switch this to attack, mm -hmm. and uh, I will move to the battle phase and attack your mm -hmm. uh, spirit deck. One away. Is that a set card or? Uh, no, sorry, it's my hand. Sounds good. I just don't know where to put it. So I'm at four. I'll We're draw. tied up now. <laughs> Can't believe I did that in the wrong order. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I have to expend two, <sighs> and I'm going to play my own astrobat, astrobit. Uh, when it has receives one or more, oh, for Five one, for I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see. I see. I mean, you can right. pay two. I'm fine with you going down to two. No, so. I'm, you only allowed to pay one, anyways. <laughs> uh, so I get to look at the top three cards. Add a card. I'm gonna ask. Grab. You don't have to, you don't have to show me. Oh yeah, you're right. But Never thank mind. you for that information. <laughs> and then you can go ahead. Sounds good. I will draw for turn. Match at three. <laughs> All right. I will pay. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> oh no. Good defense. I I feel like I have to attach one to it. Mm -hmm. uh, and then when I do, I get to look at the top three. Okay. And grab a card. Grab this card. I'll shuffle. Uh, and I will switch this to defense mm -hmm. and pass it off to you. All right. I'll draw for turn. I'm going to set. I'm going to use one water spirit to play uh, Verse Aqua. Uh, when it enters the battle with a defense position Elestral, I can suppress that Elestral and destroy it. Why am I destroyed? Because it's, it's like I can suppress that Elestral and destroy it. Oh, okay. So, bye-bye. Um, but, uh, Vertakwa deals no damage this battle. So, yeah, I guess I'll just move this into attack position. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to go into battle phase and attack you for one room. Or one spirit. Uh, actually, sorry, I'll expend the green. Okay. Uh, I'm down to two. You're Me down too. to two. Close games, huh? Ugh, okay. I will draw. Well, I will have to use this anyways <laughs> uh, to play this in defense position. Okay. Uh, and your go. I'll drop a turn. Well, I'll use a water spirit to actually cast this guy here. No effect, which is fine. Um, I guess we shall proceed to battle. Uh, you, can you attack though? Yeah. So you can I? attack, you just don't have the ability? Yeah, you just don't have effects. So, how many spirits do you have again? Wanda. <laughs> what does he do? <laughs> You're so mean. Uh, anyways, okay. Aramir Ar is going to attempt to yes. swing over that. Uh, I'm going to use Astrobit to swing at you. Yep. And Vertakwa is going to go for game. Yeah, good game. <laughs> GG's. <laughs> <laughs> the box is mine! <laughs> no! Now for the moment we've all been waiting for. Is Elestrals actually a good game? Well, Sam and I resonated with the different TCG elements put together, and that's one thing we really liked. I also liked how the game includes various alt arts with custom holographics and stellar rares, which are serialized. We didn't pull any today, but I'm definitely looking forward to seeing some in the future. Overall, I can see myself playing the game again. Thank you so much, Adrive, for sending me Elestros. This game is fully community-driven, so be sure to check out more details in the description box down below. Also, comment if you guys want to see more Elestros content on the channel as well. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. You guys have a great day, great night. Wherever you are, see you in the next video. And this is Vault, signing out.